Many Kentuckians who were on vacation this week in Florida decided to head home before Matthew hit, but others say they'll be staying until the storm passes. New tonight, WKYT's Monique Blair talked to a Somerset man and a former WKYT news anchor who are both bracing for the storm. She continues our top story team coverage. Actually, it's a little bit eerie. David Sparks knows this dark and still Orlando sky could be. The calm before the storm. We were told that once the winds reach 45 miles an hour, we cannot come out of the room. Uh, they've actually uh, uh, asked everyone to be off the streets uh, tonight by 6 p.m., which that's already passed. Sparks and his wife, who live in Somerset, have been camping at a Disney World campground all week until they were forced to relocate to an actual building this morning for safety purposes. Sparks says staff members have already passed out flashlights to each guest, and for now, Sparks says. He feels perfectly safe. Just going to take it as it comes. Uh, everyone's uh, been very kind. Uh, we've, we've met a lot of uh, nice people here, and we're just uh, going to ride it out together. About 130 miles north in St. Augustine and about 20 miles from the coast, former WKYT news anchor Stacy Ellison talked to us from her home. I think it's interesting when the rest of the country is watching this. It is a little different than when you're here because we are getting kind of the local breakdown of what's going to happen in our neighborhood. So we're good. Ellison has stocked up on water, gas, and non perishables, but she says that's nothing compared to what others who live near the coast are going through. Really, it puts it in perspective when you know there are other people who boarded up their windows and took their valuables and had to leave. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT.